everybody, welcome back. This week we're going to be talking about a story in the Bible that takes place in a city called Jericho. At this point in the Bible, the Israelites had entered the Promised Land, but it was not theirs yet. Their first battle for the land was against the gateway city of Jericho. The Lord had chosen Joshua to conquer the land of Canaan. Joshua wanted to form a battle plan, so he sent two spies over the Jordan River to the city of Jericho. Rahab, a woman of the city, let the spies stay at her house. When the city official searched for them, she hid them on her rooftop under stalks of flax. That would be like shingles. She told the spies that she would not turn them in as long as they promised to save her and her family when they returned to conquer Jericho. Before escaping to the nearby hills, they instructed her to tie a red cord in her window so that they would know where she was when that they would know where she was whenever they came back. The people of Jericho had heard all about the Israelites, so they tightly shut up their city. There were five usual ways to capture a walled city. By going over the walls using ladders or ramps, by digging a tunnel under the wall, by smashing a hall a hole through the wall, by laying siege until the city is starved into submission, or by some sort of trick to get the people to open the gates. The commander of the Lord's army, who appeared to Joshua, solved all of the questions of attack. Joshua only had to follow instructions. The commander could have been God himself because Joshua worshipped him as God and was told that he that the ground was holy as Moses had been told at the burning bush. The drawn sword certainly indicates God's intended precipitation in the battle. The message for Joshua was, was a statement of fact, as if the battle were already over. The plan was unlike anything that an army would normally use. Anyone without faith in the Lord would have thought the plan was ridiculous. Priests went to carry the Ark of the Covenant, and seven priests bearing seven trumpets of ram's horns were to go before the ark, blowing the trumpets continually. They were to circle the city once each day for six days. And on the seventh day, the men were to march around the city seven times. After the seventh circuit, the priests were to make one long blast on the trumpets. At the trumpet sound, the people were to shout loudly, the priests were probably using shoffers. A shoffer is a horn made from the curved horn of a ram. The horn had to be hollowed out and polished before a sound could be made on it. A shoffer does not work like a trumpet. You can't play a tune on it. Instead, the shoffer was used to send signals, to announce special occasions, to call soldiers to battle, and to sound an alarm. The people did as instructed. Joshua remembered that the woman, Rahab, had protected the spies when they had come to Jericho. She had put a red cord in her window, just as the spies had told her. When the Israelites saw the cord, they let Rahab and her family leave the city safely. They were the only people to escape Jericho alive. Every living thing died when Jericho fell. Joshua laid an oath on the city. And this week, we're going to be reading in our Bible and Joshua chapter 6, verses 15 through 20. On the seventh day, they got up at daybreak and marched around the city seven times in the same manner, except on that day, they circled the city seven times. The seventh time around, when the priest sounded the trumpet blast, Joshua commanded the people, Shout, for the Lord has given you the city. The city and all that is in it are to be devoted to the Lord. Only Rahab and all who were with her in her house shall be spared, because she hid the spies we sent. But keep away from the devoted things so that you will not bring about your own destruction by taking any of them. Otherwise, you will make the camp of Israel liable to destruction and bring trouble on it. All the silver and gold and the articles of bronze and iron are sacred to the Lord and most go to his treasury. When the trumpet sounded, the people shouted, and at the sound of the trumpet, when the people gave a loud shout, the wall collapsed. So every man charged straight in, and they took the city. Sometimes children, and even adults, do not understand why the Lord requires certain things of us. 
Joshua must have been puzzled by the commands in the story. But we can be assured that the Lord knows what he is doing if only we can trust him more.